Today, we're gonna to show you how to create dark and moody coloring in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and today we're gonna to show you how to turn your images into that dark and moody feel that we love so much on Instagram. We're also gonna show you which images are going to work well and which images aren't going to work for this mood. It's very important that you choose the right image to help you tell that story of dark and moody feelings. We got a great video for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So we're starting off in Photoshop with a comparison of two very different photos. On the left, we have a bright sunny day with light colored clothing and overall just like a bright mood to the image. On the right, we have a much darker photo just in terms of the light levels, but we also have a little bit more of a somber subject material looking out of the window, kind of looks like a little bit of a rainy day. So you probably guessed it, we're gonna be working with the image on the right for applying our dark and moody coloring. But then we're gonna take that same layer and pop it over to the image just so we can kind of get an idea of how this coloring looks like on a bright and sunny photo as well. So let's go ahead and, I'm gonna hit F for full screen. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and all of the dark and moody coloring can be done with one curves adjustment layer. So let's go to our layer. We're gonna go down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. And the secret with your curves adjustment layer is moving this little block here on the bottom left and on the top right. And you can do this in different color channels. So RGB, we have our red channel, our green channel and our blue channel. So all you really need to move are these points on the left and on the right. So let's go ahead and start by moving those around. So I'm gonna take this point, we're gonna drag this up and to the right, and you can see it's kind of crunching my darks, and as I bring it down, it makes my darks uh, all the way to black, and as I bring this up, it makes them a little bit lighter. So we're kind of crunching those darks, but not making them as dark. We're gonna do the same thing with the right-hand side. I'm gonna kind of bring this in and down, and you're gonna see it's gonna take the lightest points in my image and just make it a little bit darker. We're gonna continue that with our other color channels. So let's go to our red channel, simply grab this point and bring it in. And you can see if I bring it further up, it's gonna be a little bit more red in my shadows. Down is gonna be more cyan. So you can play around here and kind of really get the feeling that you want. But for this dark and moody, we really wanna crunch our highlights and shadows together. That's what's gonna get us this look. Let's move on to our next color channel. We're gonna to go to the green channel and we'll just kind of pull it right up there. You can see if I push it up a little bit, we get a little more green. Down, we get a little bit more magenta. So it's totally up to you. You can have this dark and moody coloring in whatever color scheme you want. You can go warm or you can go cool with it. Let's go to our blue channel. Let's kind of pull this up here. There we go. So you can see this is a little bit more uh, a little bit more yellow here and a little bit more blue. We're gonna go yellow. I'm gonna kind of make this a little bit of a warm, dark and moody coloring. There we go. So bringing this in, ah, this is already looking really good. Now it's a little bit too green. So we're gonna go back to the green channel. I'm just gonna take this and pull it down just a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Now I want a little more red. So we're gonna go to our red color channel and we're just gonna push a little bit more reds there we go, and a little bit more red in our highlights. So you can see we've really done a nice job crunching those colors. Let's go ahead and turn this off and we can just turn the whole layer off and on and see how like really nice this applies the look to this photo. So you can see we've done a really nice job kind of crunching our shadows and highlights together, which sometimes you wanna avoid, but if you really wanna create that dark and moody feeling, this is a great way to do it. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you can just double click right here on your adjustment layer. You can go to any one of your color channels and you can continue to make any adjustments that you want, kind of like dialing in that look. I think it looked pretty good before, so I'm just gonna hit undo there. Now you're gonna be able to download this PSD on flurn.com. So you can just simply click and drag this curves layer to any one of your images and it's gonna look basically just like this. It's gonna copy those settings or of course you can make one on your own. Now let's go ahead and take this same exact curves adjustment layer that did such a nice job with this dark and moody photo on the right and apply it to the image on the left and see how it looks. So we're just gonna simply take this layer, we're gonna click and drag right over to our other document and here we're gonna see same exact layer but we have a very different type of image here and it doesn't really work in my opinion because it's doing a lot of information, it's crunching a lot of information in the lights but not really doing much with the darks because we just don't have that many dark pixels 
in this photo. It's a very bright and open photo. So this kind of just goes to show, although we have, you know, one beautiful dark and moody effect with one image, it might not work across all your photos. So it's really important to kind of like decide on the mood of your photo first and then apply the coloring that's going to enhance that mood. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed learning how to color in Photoshop, you can get access to hundreds more tutorials on flearn.com. It's a great way to support this channel. So head on over, you can subscribe there and get access to every tutorial we've ever made. Thanks again. I'll flirn you later. Bye everyone.